today I want to talk about the three P's, not P.S.'s, of a good caricature. The three P's of a good caricature. The first one is, of course, getting a likeness. And to get a likeness, you need to know a little bit about proportions. That's the first one. Knowing proportions. And in doing caricatures, you got to know a little bit about how to do a portrait and follow the basic proportions of a human head and then to take that and to not just exaggerate it but to bring out the features and know how they work together and their relationships to one another that's one of the most important things I would say contributes to a good caricature the second thing is this and this is often overlooked by artists no matter whether they're doing caricatures or everything else or anything else and that is perspective perspective is so important because that dictates how the viewer sees your work sees your caricature perspective deals with basically the eye level of the viewer. Are you looking at it from a straight on straight on view, a worm view, or a bird's eye view? And how you set up the caricature can even with the perspective, the perspective can even add an element of a caricature to your drawing just based on how you do it. So that is the second one, if not a key for all artists, is perspective. That should be the number one thing you learn first, is perspective. But, in particular with a good caricature, you got to know proportions. You aren't going to necessarily follow the proportions in the way you would if you were drawing a portrait. But you want to just know the basics of how that's done. And there's plenty of books, plenty of videos to show you that but I am going to take some time and videos uh, coming up and talk more about these three P's of a good caricature last but not least is definitely the thing that makes a caricature so many times I've gone to a or actually I've, I've drawn a caricature and I've had people stand by and say oh that's where they exaggerate all their features and that's not actually true. You use the features to tell a story, but to tell a story about a person would to include the last P. And that's personality. Personality is so key in your caricature because not only are you exaggerating features, you're telling a story to people. And oftentimes, even if you just had a minute or two minutes and all you had was a marker and copy paper and you did a great caricature, you'll notice that you're not, you don't have the time to do the exact feature, features of the, let's say the, you can't exaggerate the eyes totally in such a short amount of time. Or, you know, there's so many different ways to caricature a person so many different viewpoints but the point I'm trying to make is that personality is what really makes your caricature come to life and it gets it pulls it out of that stiff caricature of oh just a big head little body Type deal. I hope that I hope that makes sense to you. It's not a static, uh, a static representation of someone with just features exaggerated. So, to me, these are the three things that I find 
are the most uh, key aspects of a good caricature and it's something that I always look for and try to do okay so like I said again the three P's proportions perspective and personality and I'm going to do three five-minute videos about that so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one